Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a more talky video than I usually do. I, don't, I haven't done a talking kind of video in a, quite a while actually. So today I'm going to be doing answering your most googled equestrian questions. And um, I've, not, I've only seen one person do this styled video and it wasn't an equestrian so I'm not like very sure from what I'm doing but it's just for a bit of fun so I've got my phone here and I'm going to be searching up things and whatever's the most suggest, like the most suggested and searched up question that's what I'm going to be answering. So I'm very squeaky here Nick Clyde. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is search up is why do equestrians and see what comes up. I hope this actually like works because I've never tried it. Why do equestrians wear long socks? I did not expect that to be the most searched up why do equestrians. Well, equestrians mainly wear long socks because um, otherwise it rubs your feet. And I'm guilty for not wearing long socks that often. And um, sometimes if you wear short boots, like jodhpur boots, and you don't wear long socks, then your um, the jodhpurs can rise up and then it's really uncomfy and it pinches your legs, the saddle does, if your jodhpurs rise up, so that's why. And also it's so much comfier and you don't get like rubs it from the saddle or anything. Next question. Why do questions wear hairnets? Well, we only wear them for like showy shows and for like smart jumping competitions and things like that, but we don't wear them every day, or at least I don't anyway because they're not necessary for that but it's just kind of part of the the wear the kind of what you're meant to be doing why do questions wear vests well i do not wear a vest so that's not it's not true for me but probably to keep warm would be my answer for people for questions that do wear vests because that is basically what vests are for isn't it next i'm going to search up is horse riding and i'm kind of predicting that it's going to be is horse riding a sport like i would not i would be is horse riding a sport yes it's a sport because it's in the olympics and if it wasn't if it was in the olympics then obviously it's a sport i mean that's quite clear and I think non-horsey people just think that if you just, you just sit on the horse and you don't do anything and it just magically jumps everything that it wants to. Like, take Clyde for example, if you sit on him, he will just eat his hay net. he will not move, but you need to do things and you don't just boot the horse, you like, need to do, you have to have the right position and everything and you just, it is a sport because it's the same as saying football is just you kick the ball and that's that. Because it is kind of that, but at the same time there's loads of different techniques and tactics and all that, so it's basically the same kind of thing. Is horse riding cruel? Well, obviously there are some kinds of, um, some horse riders that are a bit cruel to their horse, which is really bad, but Overall, as horse riders, we are not cruel people. The majority of us are not, so I don't think I don't think that's good that um, that is one of the top searched because I wouldn't like to be portrayed as a cruel person just because I ride. Um, most horse owners treat their horses like family because they are like family, um, and we would never hurt our animals, and we love them very much. Do we, Clyde? Clyde says no. Our horses is the next search. Our horses. Wait a minute. Typo? Our horses. Our horses smart. Yeah, horses are very smart animals because they memorise all these things that we teach them. So you have to be pretty clever to remember all that and um, maybe if you've um, taught them a new thing like um, you've taught them to leg yield then they're going to remember it. So yeah, they are smart. Our horses are omnivores. No, because they don't eat meat, they're herbivores because they eat hay, grass and their chaff and their pony nuts are not made out of meat. So yeah, they are not omnivores, they are herbivores. Are horses native to America? I'm not sure, I'll need to click on this one. Mm. I think it's saying that a type of horses is native to America, but not all horses. Yeah, that's true because 
if you think about it, um, the likes of Shetland ponies are native to Scotland, so they've never been in America, unless obviously someone's got them transported over. But yeah, they they were like born here. Let's do it. How do equestrians? How do equestrians? How do equestrians make money? See, horse riding makes equestrians poor. I think people portray that if you own horses you must be rich, but I think hor having horses makes you not rich because they eat all your money, basically. But I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's like amazing. Um, what do equestrians wear? Just anything. Or maybe that's just me. Mainly in the summer I would wear like a t-shirt or a base layer and jodhpurs or riding leggings and riding leggings are just kind of the same but they're like a thinner fabric, it's a different type of fabric and then boots, gloves, hat, sometimes back protector, it depends. Um, what do questions want for Christmas? <laughs> Money? <laughs> no, um, well it depends. That's a strange one, I'm gonna click in that one. Things of questions want for Christmas. Ten gifts for questions they would love to get this Christmas. A cool belt. I don't even, I think I've got, I don't think I've even got a belt. Fancy horse treats. Ooh. Fancy horse treats. Okay. Saddle pads. <laughs> Yeah, that is like the first one that's actually true. Boot socks. Are they just normal socks? They're like long socks. I guess that's true. Fancy horse brushes. Hmm. Sure. A nice pair of gloves, yes. I mean, we've got about a million pairs of gloves at this point, but like half of them have a hole in them somewhere. A personalised cal calendar. I've never really thought of that, but that would actually be really nice. Like a personalised calendar. Yeah. Why do horses wear shoes? Well, um, obviously, Clyde's got four shoes on. He's got all his feet shod. And it's because it helps protect their feet. Because some horses don't need shoes. Because the likes of my mum's friend's horse, her horse doesn't need shoes at all. And it rides along the stony lane near our house and doesn't like wince at all whereas Heidi the like Heidi our other pony if she walked along the lane with no shoes on she would be like the whole way along because she just would hate it and some horses have more sense to feet for hoist qualifiers and things like that I think plaited M&Ms need all four shod or the front two it's something like that but for some shows you need to have your horse shod but Clyde has all four on so he can have studs in for grass working hunter competitions because sometimes it can be very slippy in Scotland because it rains a lot and Clyde gets very nervous when he's jumping if it's quite slippy so he needs studs in for the likes of air show which is on grass and it's got a lot of hilly bits in it. Why do horses lay down? Well they lay down just the same as us to have a wee nap but they can't lay down for that long.